Welcome everyone to Easy Code Is, the website where you, the users, determine what features I will be implementing. If there's something you want to learn when coding a website, leave a comment below and I just might make a video about it. Let's see what we're going to be learning about today. Uh, creating a repository for a website. We're going to be hopping over to GitHub, creating a repository, and cloning that repository to our local box. On our local box, we will be making some changes and we will commit those changes and then push them up to the repository on GitHub. Over on GitHub, I'm going to log in and we're looking for the new repository button. We're going to call our repository easy code is and leave the description blank. We're going to make this a public repository so everybody in the world can see it. Initialize it with a readme and we're going to hit create repository. Now that our repository has been created, we need to clone this repository to our local box. I'm going to click on the clone or download button right here and I'm going to copy with SSH open up the command line and we're going to go to our WAMP folder. Then we're going to hit our WW folder. This is where we want to clone our repository. Simple git clone with SSH and hit enter. Error. Oh, that's right. This error is here because I already have a folder, easy code is, in my www folder. Hop over to my www folder. You can see here my easy code is folder. I'm going to rename this to easy code is underscore old. Now we can clone our repository to the www folder. I'm going to hit enter, cloning, easy code is in our www folder. See, we got easy code is and easy code is old. Now in here, this is an empty folder. We don't have any files in here really. In our old folder, we're gonna copy these and we're gonna place them in our new folder that was just cloned. And now we can delete the old folder. Now that we have added files to this repository, we can CD into it and we can do a git status. This will let us know what is on our local box that is not synced with the repository. And there's the two folders and the one index file that I added. We're gonna add all the files, git add dash dash all, git status, should I have them green lighted. Now they're all set to be committed. Let's say this is the git commit uh, message. Initial code commit. Git status one more time. See where we're at and we're ready to do the push. So we do git push. This is what's actually gonna push our files up to the repository on GitHub. Give it a moment or two, writing objects. And why is, oh, it's taking long because of the video that I have in there. It's our full screen background video. There we go. Back to the command line, our push has been completed. Hop back over to our Git repository on GitHub. And if we refresh this page, we should see our code. There we go, we have the files that I added to our new repository. Now that we have a repository for our website, let's link to our website on our homepage. Hop over to my www easy code is and open up the index file. Here's our video and here's the content under our video. At the bottom of the page, I'm gonna want to put a view source code on GitHub link. So I pasted the link to our repository right here. Since it's a public repository, anybody will be able to see this and clone it for themselves. Then I got my link text right here. And all this is at the bottom of our page under our content. So I'm going to hop over to my local box. Easy code is scroll to the bottom and I should see my new link. There it is. Click on it and it should take me to GitHub right to our repository. So we're just going to clean this up a little bit here to make it look a little better on our, on our homepage. Call this class footer container. Throw that right in here. And we're going to give us a margin top and margin bottom of 20 pixels. Also, we're going to text align its center like that. Now back on our homepage, refresh it, scroll to the bottom, and our link is centered. Let's go ahead and commit those changes to our repository. Again, I'm going to run git status, see where everything's at. It tells me that I have modified CSS home.css and the index file. Add those, we get status, make sure they're green lighted. There they are. Now we can do a git commit. And this is where we put our message. I'm going to say adding GitHub link to homepage. This is the message that will show up when we view our repository on GitHub. Once we've done the commit, we can push it. It's been pushed. I'm going to hop back over to GitHub and do a refresh on this page. See, we have three commits now. Adding GitHub link to homepage. You can click on the commits to see the commit log. We have our initial commit, our initial code commit, and our most recent commit. So there we have it. We have created a repository for our easy code is website. We've made some changes locally, committed them and pushed them to the repository for all the world to see. That's going to do it for this video. Like and subscribe down below and leave a comment. Let me know what you would like to learn and see implemented next. Remember, easy code is and I'll catch you later.